All right, in this video, I want to show how to use the VLOOKUP functionality. So here's an example as a teacher that I run into periodically. Let's say I've got a grade sheet, and I have the student's name here, and I have their percentages. And instead of trying to compare it to my chart and put the grade here, I can automate this function. So I'm going to cheat here, and what I'm going to do on this E column is actually paste a grade table that I have. So I have sorted this and it created this column. So I got the percent, which is going down here, and it's increasing, and this is important. You want to make sure you sort your table. It's from small to large, and then it's corresponding grade. So with this table, what I'm going to do using a functionality called VLOOKUP, called Vertical Lookup, I am going to look up this percentage, in this case 63. It's going to look it up in this table, and when it finds a match, it will return uh, the column that I tell it to. So let's put this in practice. So as with anything in Excel, equal sign first. I'm going to start typing V lookup, and here it is. And the first thing it's asking for is a lookup value. And my lookup value is the percentage that John got uh, in the course. So I click it there. It puts B2. Uh, notice I then need to separate using a comma. And now it's asking for my table array. So it's asking for what table is it going to look up in. So I'm going to highlight my table. And it puts it as E2, uh, my array, colon, F14. Well, what's really important is I do not want this to be relative. If you remember the, the idea of relative cell reference, this needs to be absolute because I may want to take this function and drag it down. And if these remain relative, these will change, and that will change how it looks up my grade. So I am going to surround these with dollar signs. So the, uh, dollar sign E, dollar sign 2, dollar sign F, dollar sign 14. So now it will always refer to that particular table that's highlighted here. I'm going to push comma, and it's going to call, uh, ask for a column index number. Basically what this is, is when it looks at this table, what you're searching for does need to be in the first column of that table, but then it's asking for which column do you want it to return the answer. You know, your table may have 50 columns, and you may want it to return something that's in column 6. You would put 6. So in this case, I only have two columns. I'm searching on the first one, and I want it to return what's in column 2. So I'm going to put 2. And the next one, which is important, it's uh, the range lookup. So basically, uh, if you want it to find an exact match to what you're looking up, you would put exact match. If you want it to be approximately, you'll put true. Uh, this is one of the reasons you want to sort it alphabetically or sort it from low to high. Uh, in this case, I do not want an exact match. Uh, the reason is it's going to be looking up a 63, and it's going to try to find a 63 in my table, and it's not going to be there. And since it's not there, it will return an error. So in this case, I'm going to put true. I can just double click it, close my parentheses, and push return. And as you can see, 63 is going to fall between 62 and 68, and it will return a D. Now because, if you look up in our formula bar here, I have an absolute reference to the table. When I drag this down, it will not change. But this B2 reference will, and so when I drag it down, it'll do B3, B4, B5. So now I can just drag my little box here, and it will return the grades. And as you can see, using this functionality, uh, 76 would be a C, 98 would be an A, because it's greater than that, and 91 would be an A-. minus. So that's how you can use VLOOKUP. You can use this a lot in laboratory things if you're dealing with density of water and temperature, uh, maybe uh, if you want to figure out the molecular weight of a formula, you can get the, the atomic symbols and their atomic masses, and you can have it do a lookup functionality. Uh, so that is using VLOOKUP in Excel 2007.